Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christina and I do weekly styling videos. So for today's video, I have something a little bit different, um, but I do hope that you enjoy it still. So today, um, as you can tell from the title, I have a Fashion File unboxing. So if you're unfamiliar with Fashion File, it's basically a website that sells all pre-loved designer items. Um, well, I wouldn't say all, cause some of them are new, but mostly pre-loved designer items. They usually sell stuff that um, is sold out in stores or are vintage items that are obviously no longer available. I don't know, they just sell a bit of everything and there's literally every designer brand on that site that you can even think of. Um, they do update, update their site regularly, like I think maybe once or twice a day. I've been on there like twice a day before and have seen totally new stuff. Like I'll go on there in the mornings I used to go in there every morning just to see what they have for the inventory and then I'll go later on in the afternoon and they have like even more new arrivals. So they are really, really good with updating their site regularly. And yeah, so I um, have probably been on the Fashion File website for, I would say about six months now, just kind of looking and seeing what they have available. They do have handbags, they have jewelry, they have shoes. Um, I don't know if they have clothes. I've never actually looked for clothes. I don't think they have many clothes, but they have um, any kind of accessory that you want, belts, um, any small little goods that you need. So they basically have everything you need when it comes to designer brands. The item that I purchased is something that I think I first saw on Pinterest, um, maybe like a couple years ago. And I really liked it when I saw it. But I saw a couple YouTube reviews on this bag and it kind of just made me fall in love with it. So I had to go ahead and get it and I'm so happy I did. This is like a little birthday gift to myself, I guess, or something. So we will go ahead and unbox this together. I um, have not even like took it out the box. Like I've had this for the past three or four days and I cannot believe I haven't touched it because I wanted to make sure I got my true unboxing on film so we will go ahead and open it together okay, so um i just thought this was like a plain box that they send it in but it's actually the fashion file box um so when you open it up it has fashion file on the inside has a little logo on the other flaps and looking in this is super cute so first we have the fashion file and neiman, Ar neiman marcus car they um i did see that they partnered about six months ago maybe well i don't know if it was six months ago i feel like when i right when i got on the website i saw like instantly saw a message that they partnered with neiman marcus um and i thought that was really cool so just, I guess, a reminder that they're partners with them now. And they do have a fashion file nail file. And then on the back it says, I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet. I love that. And then this is, this must be the receipt. Um, they also have like, maybe I should like try lifting this up. But they also have like little confetti in here, which I think is really cute. Comes in pink and gray. And then the card, oh, so this is actually just the receipt. So a receipt of what I purchased. And the Fashion File certified card, which guarantees that um, this item is authentic. Then they have another thing in here that says, we want your bag back, um, cash for your bag. So I do see that Fashion File actually will buy your bag back. I think it's like if, if in a certain amount of time. So within six months, if you wanna sell your bag back, you can sell it back to them and they will give you, I believe 70% of what you bought it for, which is really good. So next we have a thank you card. And yeah, it's pretty simple, just a cute thank you card. Fashion Power really puts a lot of thought into you know, their packaging, which I can appreciate. So this is it. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so here's the packaging, and then it um, has a sticker on here that has um, a saying that says, use is a new new, which I agree.
Um, all the fact, all the items that are purchased on Fashion File, I do know come with a Fashion File dust bag. I believe it comes with a dust bag. I don't know if it comes with it if um, the designer item has its original dust bag or not, but mine is vintage items, so it did not come with its original dust bag. But yeah, here is the dust bag, which I really, really like. And here it is. Okay, so here is the bag, guys. I love this. I love, love, love this. Okay, so this is the Louis Vuitton um, Montsuori PM size. Um, I have been eyeing this bag, like I said, for quite some time, and I feel like this just vibes with my style like this is like really really casual but i feel like with the handle on the back this can be dressed up like i'll take this out at night too um this is super cute i was really really nervous about the size of this honestly um but i think the size is perfect it's so cute and little oh okay so um yeah this bag is actually from the um date on it is 19.99 so this is 20 years old guys 20 years old and it is actually in tip top condition the um condition that it said on the website was very good i mean looking at this bag i would say excellent like considering the vintage status of it i would honestly say this is excellent condition like I love this. I love, love, love this. I love the color of it. I love that the patina is, you know, has that like darker color. So let me open this up. This is really roomy. Like, this, this is gonna fit all my essentials. I don't carry much, like I carry my wallet my um phone and a lip gloss and maybe like some lotion or something i don't carry much in my bag so this is a perfect everyday bag um here let me hold it up so you can see yeah i think this is gonna work perfectly of course it has the drawstring closure it has the buckle closure as well. And then it has this little pocket in the front, which on a couple of reviews, I did see that this, like nobody ever puts anything there. It is, it's a pretty small pocket, but um, I can't fit anything in there. Like I would probably maybe put my lip gloss in there or something just for easier access. But yeah, this is in really good condition, guys. Wow. The bottom of it looks really good too. I was scared it was gonna be like some like noticeable marks at the bottom. Here's the back. I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this like over my shoulder. Here, let me stand up. I'll definitely be wearing it over my shoulder like this. I also feel like I'm gonna be wearing it by its handle like for a more nighttime look. That's why I think it's so versatile and that's exactly why I wanted something like this. My style is very casual. Um, I don't do too much when I, when I do dress up, I don't do too much. Not every time, I don't. Most days, you know, jeans, t-shirt, even if I'm going out, jeans, t-shirt, and heels. So this adds to my casual, my casual vibe. And what made me want to go ahead and get the PM size um, just because I, I think this size works um, as like a good backpack option for every day. I feel like anything bigger than this, I would be looking like I'm carrying around some like school books or something. I did see, I was in a store that sells Vintage Louis Vuitton and I did see they had a Louis Vuitton MM size, which is the next size up. And I actually like that size um but i didn't like the back part of it like i like this the leather handle i didn't like the um ring handle that the mm and the gm has so 
that is another reason why I wanted to go ahead and get the PM and I am so excited. I cannot wait to wear this. I definitely give Fashion File a thumbs up, you know, for my first purchase. Um, the shipping was, the shipping was okay. I feel like it took a little bit because I did order this around Labor Day and so I know the office is probably closed and they didn't pack my stuff to like that Tuesday and ship it off. They do require a signature um, upon delivery so I appreciated that. I do feel like I'm leaning towards buying more of the pre-loved designer pieces rather than just going and waste the money in the stores just to get a brand new piece that will probably go, um, not go on sale but probably be um, losing its value. I'm not a big trend person, so I do a lot of research when I do buy my designer items. So this one is definitely staying in the collection for a while. I'm gonna pass this down to my daughter, I know. I know, this is so cute. Like it's almost as small that she can like probably wear this in a couple years. But yeah, this is my experience with Fashion File and I hope you enjoyed it and I am pleasantly surprised. I am pleased with my purchase. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want, you can go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button as well. Um, and of course, I'm still trying to get my followers up. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Bye.